Hey Noah, trying another personal video here. So I've got a snapshot of your homework. So your main issues are in these areas right here, right, where you're trying to deal with the parallel component of weight, but the way you're doing it doesn't, I don't quite understand it. Um, so if we just, but you know, these these aren't the right answers. Um, I haven't actually, I actually don't know if they're, but they're, they're, they don't look like they're the right answers. Let's put it that way. So take a look for a second and maybe pause the video. Look at this diagram right here that I'm just selecting and see if that makes sense. And so this M times G is the weight. We don't know what the mass is, right? It's an unknown. So, you know, writing it this way and allows us to write an expression for the weight or the parallel component of weight. If I draw a dashed line, so here's the part that maybe is bothering you is understanding this, the components of weight. I'm drawing a dashed line parallel to the ramp, right? And I'm drawing a dashed line perpendicular to the ramp, making the vertex be where the base of that weight vector is, right? And that looks pretty good. And so I'm going to keep adding dashed lines. I'm going to make these next ones a little thinner. And I want to box out. I'm actually trying to, and this is really the part that you've got to practice and kind of conceptually get your head around. I am trying to get myself ready to draw the components of the weight. And I'm going to do that in green. Uh, so here's the one that's important to us, this parallel component of weight. But just to give it some shout out here, this is the perpendicular component of weight I just added in. So the 24 degrees, that's right there, that's with the horizontal, right? I'm extending this out so that, see where I'm tracing my cursor, you can see this right triangle here. So right in there, this, this is the complement of 24 degrees, which means this is 24 degrees right there. So I don't know if that makes sense or not. That, that's something that you've got to get yourself, you know, drawing it and figuring out what I'm blathering about here. But so that allows us to think about sine. This hypotenuse of the right triangle, whoops, I wanted to actually try to grab the, uh, let's get that fixed there, I, let me un ungroup that. And so I'm going to make the mg smaller. That mg, the weight, whatever it is, right, is the hypotenuse of the triangle I'm tracing with the cursor. So since this is theta here, when I think about like sine of 24 degrees, right, that is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. And so the parallel component is the opposite, right? So I'm just trying to get this. I'm at my computer, as you can probably see here. So that x represents the parallel component. That's what we want to know. There's my, I'm making the, um, a fraction there, right? So I'm going to solve for x, right? And I'll get x is equal to m times g times sine of 24 degrees. I'm not a good typer. All right, and let me just move that out of the way there. So that's my outcome. That's the parallel component. We don't know the mass. I certainly can figure out what G side 24 is. G is 9.8, so that comes out to about almost 4. Um, so certainly you could put that in. So when you get to this stage of the game, what I liked was I saw what I saw here. This is good. So what I'm circling is good. The problem is the 24.1. That I don't understand, and that's not correct. So what you have to put in place of that is this number that I'm circling, right? That's got to go in for it. And your M is going to show up in two places. That's why this problem's a bit of a headache because it just doesn't feel like you've got a, a nice sort of direct path to the answer. So you have to do a little bit more algebra to solve for M. Uh, and since you've got the same thing going on the next one, I'm glad you emailed because you don't want to, you know, come in on a Monday being frustrated about this. You've got to fix that too, this 17.1 this that you're coming up with here. That needs to be fixed. So my advice is to practice drawing these diagrams so that you're conceptually getting it or go back to the video that was part of the homework and take a look at that. Thanks for emailing.